We also have talked even on this channel about Angel's very dramatic response to that. Angel Reese started with, I'm heartbroken. I'm literally lost for words, knowing what this woman meant to me in such a pivotal point in my life. She was the only person, which is interesting since she's been coached before. It's hard to believe that even after facing legal action over steroid allegations, Angel Reese continues to spark controversy with her bold and provocative statements. This time, she delivered a shocking revelation involving her former coach, Teresa Weatherspoon. Reese has accused Weatherspoon of betrayal, claiming that the coach played a key role in her downfall. Reese's public comments have left many stunned, as she suggests that Weatherspoon, once a trusted figure in her career, is the reason behind her professional struggles. If betrayal had a face, as Reese says, it would undeniably be Teresa's right now. And unfortunately, it seems like, according to some new reports, that that relationship cost her her job. Chicago Sky officials have publicly stated that Teresa Weatherspoon was suspended due to the team's poor performance. However, Angel Reese is stirring up controversy, suggesting there's more to the story. According to Reese, the suspension wasn't just about performance issues, hinting at deeper, undisclosed reasons behind the decision, which has left fans and analysts questioning the official narrative. Uh, point being, uh, she disrespected the official. That was the official response to this. Why is Angel Reese making these bold claims? Are her accusations valid, or is this simply another dramatic chapter in the ongoing saga surrounding her? Let's take a step back and break it all down, because the situation is becoming increasingly complicated. Since Reese's explosive statements, the internet has been ablaze with speculation and debate, with fans and commentators alike trying to make sense of the chaos. Her comments have sparked widespread discussion, adding fuel to an already controversial narrative. Whether there's truth to her allegations or not, one thing is clear. Angel Reese has everyone talking. Now you have a rivalry here. Angel Reese wants to be Draymond Green. But there's nothing about her game that's really interesting that is going to translate to people who may not watch the WNBA, may not care about basketball. Once hailed as the future star of the WNBA, Angel Reese now finds herself embroiled in a scandal so shocking that it's shaking the league to its core. For months, rumors swirled about her performance, and the truth has finally emerged. Reese allegedly resorted to using performance-enhancing drugs in a desperate attempt to stay relevant. Facing immense pressure to live up to her hype, it seems she turned to steroids in an effort to keep pace with the league's top talent. The gap between expectations and reality grew, and instead of relying on hard work and skill, Reese reportedly sought a shortcut, one that would ultimately lead to her downfall. Angel Reese is the villain, Caitlin Clark is the hero, and Angel Reese continued to play into it last night by getting ejected, and it's almost like it's all scripted. This is perfect for the WNBA. She's all the talk. She's the one standing up there in front of reporters yep. saying, I need all of you guys to realize there's two of us that changed the game of women's basketball. And it's not just Caitlin Clark. I was a part of that two years ago in the national championship game, and it's going to continue to be that way from here on out. I kind of love it. I don't agree with her. It's way more Caitlin Clark than it is Angel Reese. Then suddenly the bombshell hit. Angel Reese tested positive for performance enhancing drugs and the entire WNBA world went into shock. Fans, analysts, and players alike couldn't believe it. The Chicago Sky, her team at the time, acted swiftly, suspending her immediately while launching an investigation. But let's be honest, this was no surprise. The signs were there, and many had already speculated that something was off. From the rumors swirling to her inconsistent performance, we all saw this coming. It was only a matter of time before the truth came out, and now the fallout is unavoidable. Because anybody who's watching could see that what was going on with Chicago and with Angel Reese and the double-double streak and all that stuff wasn't good for Angel, wasn't good for the rest of the team, wasn't good for the whole organization. The moment the test results came back, confirming Angel Reese's use of performance-enhancing drugs, her career plummeted faster than her shooting percentage in a tough fourth quarter. 
Her public image, already fragile from earlier controversies, was completely shattered. The Chicago sky wasted no time, swiftly cutting ties with her, and the shock reverberated throughout the league. Fans, players, and analysts were left speechless, struggling to process how a once promising star could fall so far, so fast. Reese's downfall wasn't just a personal blow, it sent shockwaves across the WNBA, leaving many in disbelief. WNBA has been around a couple of decades, and people didn't notice the game, they're noticing it now. Well, that's because of Caitlin Clark, not Angel Reese. The substances Angel Reese allegedly used weren't just ordinary supplements or over-the-counter vitamins. Reports suggest she turned to EPO, erythropoietin, a powerful performance-enhancing drug known for boosting stamina and endurance by increasing red blood cell production, commonly used by cyclists and marathon runners to achieve superhuman endurance levels. In addition to EPO, Reese allegedly experimented with anabolic steroids, drugs known notorious for rapidly building muscle mass, but equally infamous for their severe consequences. These substances are strictly prohibited under WNBA regulations, and the league takes such violations very seriously. When athletes are caught using banned performance enhancers, they typically face significant consequences, lengthy suspensions, public humiliation, and a permanent stain on their career. The use of these drugs not only raises questions about their integrity, but often casts a shadow over their entire body of work, leaving a question mark on everything they've achieved in their professional career. The addiction is real. The addiction to attention is real. So, what led Angel Reese down this path? In one word, pressure. The intense pressure to remain relevant, not just to play in the WNBA, but to truly stand out in a league now being dominated by emerging stars like Caitlin Clark. Clark, who practically rewrote the WNBA record book in her rookie year, was dazzling on the court, averaging 20 points per game, breaking assist records, and making everyone else seem like they were moving in slow motion by comparison. As Clark's star rose, Reese struggled to keep up. The gap between their performances widened, and with Clark drawing all the attention, the pressure on Reese mounted. She wasn't just trying to compete, she was trying to stay in the spotlight. Unfortunately, instead of pushing herself harder or adapting, Adapting her game, it appears she made a desperate decision that would ultimately derail her career. Honestly, I think the biggest thing she should focus on is just finishing around the rim. That is something where maybe her rebounds will be halved. However, she will still make such an impact. Angel Reese's stats, 11.5 points and 9.2 rebounds per game, were solid but paled in comparison to Caitlin Clark's explosive supernova-level performances. It was like trying to compete in a foot race against a jet engine. And to be honest, many of Reese's rebounds were simply her collecting her own missed shots, which hardly signals dominance. However, the pressure on Reese was undeniable. That kind of intense pressure can push athletes to make decisions they never thought possible. The swirling rumors about Reese's use of steroids paint a sad picture of a player who couldn't keep up with Clark's rising star and opted for a shortcut to stay relevant. Instead of embracing the hard work and grind necessary to compete at the top level, Reese allegedly turned to performance-enhancing drugs, hoping they would close the gap between her and the league's elite talents. Unfortunately, they didn't. Instead of boosting her performance, they led to her being caught in a doping scandal that saw her suspended and then quickly cut from the Chicago sky. Her attempt to take the easy way out backfired spectacularly, turning what could have been a promising career into one mired in controversy. Angel Reese said, hey, she'll play the villain role. Kennedy Carter certainly embraces that as well. Chad, uh, right after we're discussing Angel Reese and the, the villain in the storyline and the plot that brings eyeballs to the product of Caitlin Clark on tour across the WNBA. Uh, she's ejected for the first time in her WNBA career. What makes this situation especially tragic is that Angel Reese didn't need to resort to performance-enhancing drugs. She had the talent. When she first entered the WNBA, many believed her rivalry with Caitlin Clark would fuel one of the most exciting storylines in women's basketball. Instead, Reese has become the center of one of the league's biggest doping scandals. Now, fans and analysts are left questioning everything. 
Was Reese ever playing clean? Has her entire career been tainted by this scandal? What once seemed like a promising career has now become a cautionary tale, her fall from grace so dramatic that it leaves everyone wondering how it all went so wrong. The potential rivalry with Clark is now overshadowed by controversy and doubt. Would Angel Reese prematurely end her rookie season to spare herself the embarrassment of losing Rookie of the Year to Caitlin Clark? The Chicago Sky acted swiftly, wasting no time in suspending Angel Reese as soon as the investigation into her alleged drug use began. Once the positive test results confirmed the rumors, it was game over for Reese. Her suspension sent shockwaves through the league, which had been working hard to expand its fan base and grow the WNBA's brand. Now, instead of celebrating rising stars and exciting competition, the WNBA is caught in a public relations nightmare. One of its most high-profile players has become the face of a cheating scandal, and the league is left scrambling to contain the fallout. This controversy threatens to overshadow the progress the WNBA has made, and the league must now focus on damage control to protect its reputation. And Angel Reese is stirring this up, so while she doesn't... Angel Reese always... It comes off as the victim. We can't overlook the mental toll this must have taken on Angel Reese. Reports indicate that the pressure, especially with constant comparisons to Caitlin Clark, was weighing heavily on her. While Clark was out breaking records, securing endorsement deals, and leading her team to playoff success, Reese found herself stuck on a team that couldn't even come close to winning. The frustration of falling behind, compounded by criticism and the relentless media spotlight, likely pushed Reese into making poor decisions. Sadly, in her bid to keep up and stay relevant, she chose the worst possible path, one that ultimately damaged both her career and her reputation. If you're a big star, you should not need to beg for attention. If you're a big star, you should not have to exploit yourself. Before you start feeling sorry for Angel Reese, it's important to hold off on the sympathy. The fallout from her steroid scandal didn't just damage her career, it threw the entire Chicago Sky organization into chaos, like an unexpected drama unfolding behind the scenes. The scandal didn't only affect Reese, it tore apart the locker room, leaving her teammates frustrated and trust completely shattered. The ripple effect was far-reaching, disrupting team dynamics and causing internal tension. What started as a personal controversy quickly became a major issue for the entire franchise, undermining any chance of unity or success. Angel Reese needs Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark does not e need Angel Reese. For someone expected to be a leader, Angel Reese's decision to turn to illegal substances not only broke the rules, but also fractured the trust she had built with her team. Leadership is about integrity, and when that trust is shattered, so is the team spirit. The Chicago Sky players could no longer rally behind her, and with a season already spiraling out of control, Reese's actions delivered the final blow. What was once a team struggling to find its footing became one in complete disarray as their star player's scandal put an end to any hope of recovery, leaving the locker room in turmoil. She's pissed off because they're not, she's like, it's not just about one player, it's about me too. And it's like, wait, time out. Nobody, I haven't even seen it. This is her, this is the app. Let's not overlook the unexpected plot twist involving Teresa Weatherspoon, the Chicago Sky's head coach. In a turn of events straight out of a sports drama, rumors began circulating that Weatherspoon may have played a role in the entire steroid scandal. The speculation suggests that her involvement in the situation runs deeper than anyone initially thought, adding another layer of complexity to an already chaotic story. What was once seen as just a player's controversy now appears to have entangled the coaching staff as well, raising questions about how far the issue truly goes. Angel Reese and her coach, former coach, I should say, Teresa Weatherspoon. We had all heard a few weeks ago that the Chicago Sky said goodbye to Teresa Weatherspoon, saying that it was time to, quote, make a change. The coach who was supposed to guide the team may have actually led Angel Reese straight into disaster. Allegedly, in a desperate attempt to salvage the team's dismal 13-27 record, Teresa Weatherspoon suggested that Reese take a boost to improve her performance. With the season slipping away, it seems Weatherspoon thought, why not? It's the kind of rumor that makes you question if you've entered an alternate universe where the coach is offering bad advice instead of strategic game plans. What should have been a season focused 
focused on turning things around became a tale of misguided decisions and controversy. Angel Reese, Chicago Sky had major culture issue under fired head coach. That of course is Teresa Weatherspoon, first year coach criticized for tailoring game plan to benefit Reese. And again, many of us could see it coming. Weatherspoon had only been with the Chicago Sky for a single season, coming in with high hopes of turning the team around. However, things quickly unraveled. The mounting pressure from management, the team's terrible record, and growing frustration all seemed to push her to her breaking point. Insiders report that she became so frustrated with the continuous losses that she allegedly encouraged Angel Reese to use performance-enhancing drugs, fully aware of the risks involved. What started as a season of potential quickly spiraled into a desperate attempt to salvage the team's performance, with Weatherspoon reportedly making choices that would lead to scandal rather than success. And that it may have led to her demise, which was reported from Annie Costabile, forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong, She's with the Chicago Sun-Times, and she recently reported that Weatherspoon was tailoring the Sky's game around a one or two players uh, led to some serious dysfunction inside the locker room. Yeah.